Hurricane Matthew, not a hurricane any longer. The remnants are moving away from the U.S. this morning, but it's leaving behind a very big mess. Record-setting flooding is making life miserable for people in the Carolinas. This is video out of Marion, South Carolina, which is well away from the coast, but they got a lot of Matthew's rain. You can see homes and cars and businesses flooded. South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley says more than 825,000 homes and businesses don't have electricity. Also, take a look at what happened last night in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. A fast-moving fire fanned by a 75-mile-an-hour wind swept through at least seven buildings. Myrtle Beach fire crews were forced to hose down nearby buildings to keep the fire from spreading even further. Much of the area was empty. People had evacuated in advance of the hurricane, so nobody was hurt. Much of historic downtown Charleston, South Carolina, also underwater. These pictures very reminiscent of Mobile and Hurricane Ivan in 2004 when Water Street and much of downtown was flooded. Matthew dumped more than a foot of rain in parts of the Carolinas. In Wilmington, North Carolina, you can see some of the damage done by Matthew's winds. Around 100 miles an hour at one point, the storm dumped more than a foot of rain in North Carolina. All in all, Matthew is blamed for 10 deaths in the United States. Four were in Florida, three in Georgia, and three in South Carolina.